So this video is going to go over how do you line the hood, the fenders, and the cab all together to get your lines right. It's a process, but it's doable. And I'm going to go over all the points. Now on the hood, once you put the hood on, there's two bolts there. And there's two bolts over here. Um, right there and there. What they give you the ability is to move the hood forwards and backwards and slightly twist it to the left and the right. We're going to go over all this in a moment. I'm just going to go over where they're at. Your radiator support has a bolt over here. It's actually down there. I don't know if you can see it. And one on each side. Radiator support gives you the ability to move the nose left and right a little bit for some adjustments, and you can shim it up and down. Your fenders has a bolt over here. This guy here adjusts the height, and also you can adjust the fender this way, in and out, on the top. So it can go up and down, in and out. By putting shims on here, or pushing in and pushing out, that controls this gap, and over here, it controls this piece. Down on the bottom, there's a bolt. Right behind here, it goes in the back side. You can shim this part of the fender in and out to get this gap. I'll go over that, just showing you where they're all at. The doors. Doors, you got a few on the hinges. On the hinges on the pillars, one here, one there, that controls in and out of the door. On your hinges here and down here, that controls the door going this way, this way, this way, and this way. One that a lot of people don't know about is right down here. And I use this little notch as a leverage point. There's a notch right here. You can actually shim the body this way. Now, there's a pivot point. There's a bolt right there. This bolt has a really tight hole that it goes into. No slop. And basically, it's a pivot point. It swivels. The other, there's a bolt here, there's one over here, and there's one over here. Uh, and what those do is there's more slop where they go. And it allows the cab to twist. I'll go over that in more detail in a second. The way I do it, the first thing I do when I start this process is to align the back of the doors, the top of the doors, right here, into the cab. So, you get a good starting point. Got your doors on, they're aligned, your gaps are right on the back. We're not doing this yet because you might not even have your fenders on or anything. You put this on first, you get this gap right. And the way you do that, if this gap is too much in the top and too little on the bottom, you can twist it this way by using the two hinges. So, first I get the door, get it orientated this way and as much as I can this way. So the in and out, so to get this flush, if it's too far this way or too far this way, you adjust those from the hinges on the pillars right there. That takes your door this way and this way. These two here take your door this way and this way. You can also, I forgot one adjustment, on the pillars you can also go up and down a little bit. So, got too much a gap there and you're hitting down on the bottom, 
down there, the pillars. You can push them up, put the door up and down. So the pillars give you up, down. They also give you in and out. The hinges on the doors tip it this way, this way, or this way, and this way. Get this gap right, and it's a good starting point. Get these gaps right. Now that you got the two door gaps right, you got a good reference point here on both sides. Now, what I did was I put the hood on before I put the fenders on. Reason being, I didn't want to have to lean over the fenders, try to struggle with the hood, get it on. So I get the hood on, and I pull it forwards, so if I drop it down, I'm not going to hit this part of the cab. The other thing when I put the hood on, I always put a blanket over here. So, get the hood on. doesn't have to be aligned yet. You just get it on. I usually pull it as far forward as I can. Get your radiator support in. The one thing before you start this process, if it's a, a rebuild... Make sure you got all your grommets that go underneath the supporting parts of your cab and the radiator support. Make sure you got those in there. They're all set to a, try to get a starting height. So, get your radiator support in. Get the grill on. Leave that piece off. Reason being is... You have a bolt you got to get here, so if you put it on, you got to take it back off. You got to put a nut on right there inside that. So you get that on. I take the fenders and the inner fender skirts, put them together, put them on as one piece. Usually I try to get this bolt in first, this bolt in here, as far as I take it. Making sure that I'm not hitting the door. I tape these, right? Kind of leave that. Make sure the doors are closed or you're going to hit and don't open the doors and close until you get to a certain point. Do that on both sides. Now, the next thing I do is I try to get, so I got both fenders on, the grills on. This doesn't have to be on yet. And I try to get this guy real close, the orientation of the hood. Now, once you get it on, if... If I close it, I'm not going to be able to lift it. You check the gaps here. You check the gaps here. Make sure it's not going to hit. Right? And you also check the gaps here. And that's a good starting point. You get it close. Make sure it's not going to hit. Make sure you're not going to chip your paint. Or if you're doing it for, you know, one of your original start bills to do body work, you get it all close. I go then, after I get that, this bolt down there I put in. With the door, I'm using the door as my reference point and the gaps. What I do next is make sure this height is right. Uh, the bolt here, you can put shims in and raise this up and down. I also make sure that these two are fairly where they need to be. And that's the orientation of going in and out here with the door. But if you already got the door flush with this, you know it's right. You want to get this lined up with your door. So, the little bolt here will allow the fender to move in and out. Plus shimming it up and down. You can get this line right and you can get this right here right. Then you go to the bottom down there. You can shim that, and the fender, the bottom fender, can go in and out. Get that right to the door. You look at this line right here. Now, it looks a little tight here because the door is open. But you look at this line because you know the back is right. You look at this line. If the gap is too close on the bottom, too far away in the top, that means the nose... And where your radiator support is, is too low. You can shim it up. You just shim it into these two gaps. Because remember, your radiator support adjusts this gap by lifting the nose up and down. And you can go, you're not going to two feet up and down, you know, a fraction of an inch up and down will make a 
big difference on this gap. So once you get the radiator shimmed and this gap's good, do it on both sides. You get the orientation to those gaps to the doors. Then what you got to look at is how is your hood sitting, right? Are well, the gaps right? I'm going to close this. Are well, the gaps right? Or the, is it right here? So, if you're looking here first, because these close and you're not hitting, right? If you're looking here, that is, you can slide the hood forwards and backwards. Now, when you're closing the hood, you go around, you make sure you're not going to hit anything. So you look at this gap here, and you come over here, you look at this gap here. The hood will move this way, move this way. Now, if you get those gaps right, and then you come along here, and you look at this gap. You want to be careful of this gap, because if your cab is not on your frame right, you can see it this gap right here. This gap's going to tell you. Because if it's fatter on one side and skinnier on the other, right, you're already aligned everything else on the frame to match the doors. That's telling you that the orientation of your nose and your cab is wrong. This guy here, to fix it, remember that swivel point I was telling you? You can take a pry bar and put in this little notch and pull this one over this way. There's a notch on that side also that you can use to push it that way. It only takes an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch to do a major difference in the front. So you got to be real careful. So, if this gap is tight and that gap is wide, you know the cab has got to turn this way. In other words, this side's got to go that way. You got the pivot point because it's not going to move you. It's going to swivel, right? So you look at if this is tight and that's real fat over there, all you got to do is move the cab over, push it that way a little bit. There's a couple things it's going to do. It's going to open up this gap here, right? And it's going to close this gap here, so you've got to be careful. Make sure when you're doing that, I should have said this earlier, this bolt here, you want to have slightly loose, because it's got to move. You're tying the fender to the cab. So you want to have this bolt loose, the bolt down there slightly loose, all four. Because you don't want to be pushing a fender, you want this to move. Once you get this gap closed, while you're keeping an eye on these gaps because you don't want to hit, <coughs> you get the gap right, you might have to move the radiator support again, left to right, to get this ori all orientated. So, it's a process. Move your cab a little bit, come over here, you might have to move your radiator support back and forth. Once it's all aligned on the frame, your lines are going to start lining up and you do a little bit a little tweak a little tweak and a little tweak till you get to a certain point you're not going to have showroom lines unless you go and modify the hoods and some of these things what some people do they'll take a round stock and weld it and then make this come out i'm like it's like that darn stock i'm keeping it so recap Make sure you get this side of the door right. That should line up perfect to the cab. Once you got this right, that gives you a good reference point here. If you don't have your doors right and you start doing this process and then go with just the door, you might have to do it all over. So the way I do it, you get this line right here. Then I work on this line and this line. I work on these gaps here. It's not a long process, you know. It's main thing is making sure you're not hitting things when you're putting it together. Once you're done with all that, 
you can tweak it. But because I took this cab off so many times from this frame, it's not the original frame to this truck. I had to get the cab oriented right on the frame to get it to all line up. Kind of like if you could bolt it all together and then put it on the frame, except yeah, I can't do it that way. But uh, you get the cab right wherever it's got to be. Cab's got to be the right height. I tried it without the shims. It didn't line up. I got all the shims in there. I got all the uh, those rubber grommets in there, everything. And things started piecing together. I fought it for days until I realized my cab was off. Once I tweaked the cab, because I knew this truck had decent lines. Even though I redid a lot of it. I This whole side, redid the bottom of the fenders. Redid this, redid that, redid the whole half of this bottom door. This side was hit or something. They did body work on it at one point. But once I got it all, it was tweaking the cab. You doing the, the major thing was the cab and the radiator support. To get the gaps right. And then, you know, the height right with the radiator. The spaces that, you know, that I had to put here and here. And then things started coming together. But that cab is not right. And those doors are not aligned to the cab. And you try doing this. It's going to be a major process. I like to do the dogs to the cab first. The back side of the doors. Get them. Get my gaps. And work forwards. And that's how I do it. Those are the adjustment points. I, hopefully I got them all. You got the hinges on the hood, your radiator support, your fender bolts, one here, one down here. You got your door hinges that you adjust, your cab. So you got your cab, your doors, your fenders, your hood, your radiator. And that's how you do it. Got questions? Give me a holler. The lines tell you where to tweak if you know. That's about it. Hope that helps you. Hope it helps somebody. There was no video telling me uh, which points to align. So I wanted to do a little video. I know I'm not doing it in person, but hopefully showing you where they are will help you out. Have a great day. Bye.